Good morning everyone, Alvin Olsen again. Well today I'm preparing the jet ski behind me there for an upcoming trip next week up to the Bay of Islands. This is the first run I've had with the boat for a while so I need to check everything and lubricate all up the joints there. Make sure the engine was uh, running well and make sure all my safety gears on board. I've pulled all my uh, wet gear out and got that ready for a trip. I will go this morning out to Tauranga Harbour and have a look around and that uh, way I can check that the boat's going Just right. check the bungs are tight. One on either side there. I got the rego now uh, for another uh, 12 months. Up in here I got some fluid, some flares, toilet paper, my safety gear, my radio goes on my vest and my EPIRP on my vest. And down here I've got the oar, the anchor, fire extinguisher and my uh, lead weight there if I like. some more uh, safety gear some tools and a flashlight there and this side is h2o as well as the stuff that i normally drink here that's my reserve fluid. Use this, uh, helmet and face screen so that i can have the camera right on my face as i'm riding along and the garmin here gives me my navigation map and uh, depth sounder as Check well. the tail lights and she's all in order there. Lubricated up my joints and my winch here. So that's all in order. So I've had this boat about two years now. It's a Sea Doo GTX 155. The seat's designed like a horse's saddle that you can lock your legs into this area here for, for a comfortable ride in, in rougher waves. And it is capable of having three up. A two is adequate for me. Controls are very simple. Start and stop there. You've got a sports mode, an eco mode, and then you've got variable tilt system on the back there, up and down, and that uh, levels your ride as you're going over distances here. This here gives you some modes on the screen to tell you what you're, what you're up to. We've got a cruise control here so that when you're, say, doing 40 knots, and you, you want to go a long distance, you'll put it on 40 knots on eco mode and it just uh, hums along lovely. These handles here with the added pressure there make it make for an easy ride. And it's surprising how much that additional uh, adaption to the handles there. Uh, uh, your forward and reverse lever here, left hand and right hand is the accelerator. the key a magnetic key that goes in here and this end here clicks to, clicks to your uh, body so that if that pulls away the engine will stop get to the battery we just need to remove these two seats here and there is the battery down there so that's a new battery I put it in in the eighth month 20 a new battery went in here so I know it's new but it is uh, this boat's been sitting for close on three months and uh, when you go out on the briny you need to have ensure the battery's full Red to red and black to black. And just make sure it's on motorbike mode there. And it's doing an assessment at the moment. It'll move over to three and then start putting a charge in in number four. So I'll get the wetsuit on and we'll go and uh, give her a run in Tauranga Harbour. So this is the what we call the fertiliser works boat ramp here in Tauranga. It's part of the big estuary here. So this is Tauranga Harbour here. We're, we're here currently. The big bridge out over the back there is over here. Bridge Marina just here. But this is the uh, pilotage area right on out to Aboy out the back here. Mount Monganui there. And the log loading facilities all along here. And this area called Sulphur Port where they do the uh, container. So now 
I just got to uh, release my boat from the trailer, taking the clamp off the back and the D-shackle on the front here. So that's it, there's an aid memoir. D-shackle up in here, that locks the boat on. And I tie that shackle on there because I've lost them here in the tide before and you don't know. It's free of the trailer now except for the winch rope. But I also put my launching rope and I clip that to that. So that one's hooked on with a hook there. And I just put it up here temporary until I get the water boat back in the water. And then I can uh, control it back down the wharf to tie it up. The risk is, of course, is that we uh, uh, have that there and it gets sucked down and up into the impeller. And we don't want that. To happen. While this launching becomes quite a routine and you uh, get a sequence that you go through to ensure you get it all right. But for a starter, I used to uh, leave things behind and find that uh, you haven't checked all aspects. With a nice long rope and being a Friday, you don't have to worry too much about the boat ramp. But when there's a bit of pressure on the ramp, you want to be uh, quick and as efficient as you can. There's a bit of current flowing today, but nothing that there's any great strain on that. So I just tie a nose up there pretty close to the Plenty boat. Plenty room to park here. And generally the, the trailer parks are all through the centre there and right down here. And you can get up to about 50 or so uh, uh, boats and trailers there, no trouble at all. met Kelly here by the boat ramp. We can see all the boat, uh, fish jumping in under the thing. There's some kingy, kawai and uh, here no doubt, aren't they? Yeah. And you've been sitting here for a wee while? Yeah, now two hours. Yeah. <laughs> no luck so far? Uh, yeah, see them by, uh, jumping in under the water there? Yeah. Yes. Oh well, I'll just go for a ride to make sure my boat's right for the weekend. So. Oh, that's good. Okay, good luck. So let's get on and away we go. This area here is called Bridge Marina. It's the link between Mount Monganui and uh, Tauranga. But just around here is an interesting boat. I think uh, Captain Cook's in town today. Let's go over and have a look. I was wondering what the smell was, but I see him. He got a little fire going out over the back here. Big old anchor on her there. So this area all to the right here is called Sulphur Point. The sea container cargo handling facility. Two smaller boats in today. Normally they're a lot bigger than this. This island out to my right is called Matakana, uh, where I live is about there, and up through here is Tauranga, and back this way is Mount Monganui. So they take the truck to the front to get the back of the boat off the wharf. Now she's underway. Bring her back to the level now. You can see the tide is fair ripping through here at the moment. Peak flow out. 
So I've got wind up my back at the moment, so that's a bit better. But we've got the uh, outgoing tide roaring out of the estuary here. Yeah. Tail tie down on here. So, a final check just make sure I've got my D shackle on here. Got the back uh, ramp down there, but she's sitting square on the trailer, and everything inside's gonna sit there. That, that water will hold that rope there. I generally put this lanyard in the uh, in the car with me. So the other thing I've got to do is log out of the trip. So in here I've got a waterproof compartment there with my mobile on. Go through to my Coast Guard app and it says close the trip. Yes. So that's done. So that was a bumpy ride in Tauranga Harbour. We had the wind coming straight from the south there. We had the outgoing tide and the pressure waves were, were jumping up to about a metre high in some places there with big white caps. And when that's the case, the, uh, the waves come right over the top of you. So I just sneaked down quietly. I had a look around, making sure that the boat was going in okay. So that's the end of this uh, video. And I'll, uh, I wonder what'll happen next. I'll catch you on the next one.